star of BBC Radio 2's much-loved satirical comedy series The News Hudlings will take part in a never-to-be-repeated one-off reunion this May, 22 years after it was axed. Called the Roy Hudlanes, the event will raise funds to erect a statue of the late host, Roy Hud. Gavin and Stacey TV favorite Alison Stegman, actor and comedian Chris Emmett, Olivier Awarding winning comedy actress Nicola McAuliffe, and Dead Ringers star impressionist John Culshaw will take part in the two-hour live show, which will play for one night only at the West End's Sondheim Theatre on 14th May. They will be joined by the radio show's resident band, Pete Moss and the Huddle Inners, and its announcer Richard Cleggy Clegg. Roy's widow Debbie Hudd, who launched the statue campaign last year, told the Sunday Express, it's going to be a couple of hours packed with laughter, supplied by the original Huddleines writers. It will have topical jokes and sketches based around all the things that Roy loved including Crystal Palace FC, Old Time Variety and the Music Hall. Everyone is taking part for a minuscule fee, that means for now. I'd dearly love to give Roy one last full house. Affable funny man and comedy actor HUD who died three years ago aged 83, was best known for playing Undertaker Archie Shuttleworth in ITV soap Coronation Street, and for fronting the news huddlings. The long-running show was controversially axed in 2001, disappointing millions of fans. It had run for an incredible 51 series, a total of 522 episodes, over more than a quarter of a century between 1975 and 2001. Terry and June and absolutely fabulous star, the late June Whitfield, was a regular cast member. Each half-hour episode consisted of topical sketch comedy, earthy humor, comic songs and one-liners. But despite being loved by millions, HUD revealed that it had been axed because trendy BBC executives felt it was old-fashioned. He recalled being taken to lunch by a Radio 2 manager who told him, We'd like you to be more like Jonathan Ross. Roy said, It was the worst insult I'd ever had. Unbelievable, after 26 years of creating the whole thing and the success we'd had with that show. He received letters from fans asking when it would be revived until he died. The news huddliners poked good-natured fun at people in the public eye. Targets included Neil Kinnock, portrayed as a nonsense spouting windbag, Kenneth Clark was a loudish drunk while the Queen Mother had a Cockney accent. It was recorded in front of a live audience, never using canned laughter, and its final episode was broadcast on Christmas Day 2001. Debbie Hudd, 63, recruited sculptor Sean Hedges Quinn, who created the award-winning statue of Sir Alf Ramsey, to sculpt Roy's statue. The campaign is supported by zany comic Joe Pasquale and keyboard wizard Rick Wakeman who have all agreed to headline theatre shows to help raise the £100,000 needed to erect the statue outside the Royal Theatre Barry St Edmunds, where HUD frequently performed his one-man show to packed houses. Said Debbie, he won't be up on a pedestal, that wasn't Roy. He'll be sitting on a bench outside so he can greet the audience as they arrive and, in the interval, you can go and have a gin and tonic with him. Everyone we've asked in the cast and writing team are taking part for no fee. They have so much love for Roy. Croydon Barn Carpenter's son Hud began his career as a Butlins redcoat in Clacton alongside Dave Allen and Harry Webb, better known to the world as Sir Cliff Richard. His stage performances ranged from pantomimes to Shakespeare. He played Fagin in a revival of Lionel Bart's Oliver.
and was an award-winning Bud Flanagan in Underneath the Arches. Straight TV roles included Dennis Potter's Lipstick on Your Collar and Karaoke, BBC Binman drama Common as Muck and a variety of guests' roles in shows ranging from Casualty to Broadchurch. But the news Hudlings was his longest-running success. It revived elements of Music Hall and was viewed as a vital training ground for comedy writers. The show's former radio producers, Dirk Maggs, Alan Nixon, Carol Smith and Steve Doherty, are also taking part in the West End production. A Max Miller superfan, Roy wrote 18 books on music hall and show business, amassed a collection of memorabilia, and helped raise funds to preserve and restore historic theaters. He also led the campaign to raise a statue of Miller in Brighton. Appointed an OBE in 2004, Roy has one son Max from his first marriage. He married his second wife Debbie Flitcroft in 1988 after they met in the cast of Babes in the Wood. Sculptor Sean Hedges Quinn's notable statue commissions include Sir Bobby Robson in Ipswich, Captain Mannering in Thetford, Gracie Fields in Rochdale, James Harriet in North Yorkshire, and Joseph Merrick in Leicester. The Roy Huddleston's one-off reunion show takes place on Sunday 14th May at the Sondheim Theatre, Shaftesbury Avenue, London. To view tickets visit https colon slash slash www. Delfondmackintosh.co.uk slash theatres slash Sondheim Theatre to donate to the statue appeal, visit their Roy Hud statue appeal. Co.uk Oh